Bro, chill, chill, chill. So you ain't think I was gonna find out you was chill, bro? You ain't think I was gonna find out you 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 I will never understand people who actually destroy things after they catch someone cheating. I understand how you feel and how you're super emotional, but you now have to pay for that. You got cheated on and now I guess you also have an expense you have to pay for. It. It's just not worth it in my opinion. My impulsive thoughts gone wrong. Gustavo, why would you do that? Why? Why are you crying? I'm not sure what he was going for. I'm not sure what the prank or the reaction he was expecting, but that's absolutely stupid. I feel bad for her. This dude came in my DM yesterday. He was like, you're pretty. I'm trying to get to know you. He literally spent me a thousand dollars just to get to know me. And y'all literally sit here and think I'm gonna get to know y'all for free. When somebody just paid me 1K for him to get to know me, be so for real. So this guy is leading the relationship with money firsthand, and he's literally trying to buy her respect and I guess even attention with money. Now that's pretty much all she's gonna expect from you the entire relationship. Good job. You know, what's the reason why you slept with yeah, your brother? Yeah. I'm someone who has come from a relationship that was not so great. So what's that got to do with sleeping with the brother? No, I'm not justifying so it. It sounds like you are. Yeah, no, I'm not justifying like... it, gonna... but I can also say my piece. Okay. Go on. No one in here is perfect. 80 to 90 percent of people in this room have cheated. Okay. So it's not a place I've for anyone cheated. to judge me. Say why you did it. Because at that time, I was in a very dark place. I don't even oh. want to get oh. I'm sorry. I hate the cheating. I would rather you say, yo, I cheated. I'm a bad person. I regret it. Don't try to justify or give any excuse. There isn't anyone. So stop trying to say there was a tough time in your life is some sob story. Nobody's believing you. What gooch? Is she stupid? Like, why the hell would you ever cheat on your man in his parents' house? Like, how dumb could you be? And first off, how desperate could you be? Did you really want this man this badly where you actually had to do it in someone else's crib? That's pretty insane. He should be able to tell his girlfriend what, what she can and cannot wear. Yo, that's some bullshit though. That's like, hey babe, do I look fat in this dress? Like, no, 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 no. If I wanted uh, to wear yes, like, I think that a man, if he's dating a chick, has a right to say what she can and can't wear to an extent. <laughs> to an extent. Excuse me. I, you know, I don't think it's like if you're wearing a t-shirt or some shit and like leggings that are super tight or something. I don't think it's respectable if he's like, yo, take that shit off. I don't want you wearing that outside. It's like, yo, dipshit, you're dating an attractive girl. If guys stare, it's a compliment. If they touch your chick, knock his teeth out. Two separate things. But if you walk out of the house in a short skirt and I can see your fucking under part of your ass cheeks and shit, yeah, I'm going to drag you inside and tell you to fucking change. Yeah, but that's not up to you. It's my body, my choice. Then it can be your body, your choice by yourself when I fucking leave. That's because not... I'm not going to just... Excuse me? I'm not gonna if you're gonna walk So out, if I wanna wear like a cute short your, dress to I'm a party a with you, your ass, your tits, all that physical, sexual shit, whatever, is for me. Because you're in a relationship with me. You I, are committed to a relationship. I think with that's me. bullshit. But if we go we go out in public and you're wearing a t shirt that barely covers your fucking nipples and booty shorts where half your ass is hanging out, you're not 
Wow. He is 1 million percent correct. If you have boundaries that you have set for yourself and this girl isn't respecting it, leave. You don't have to stay. Look at her trying to gaslight him at the end of the clip as well. But he's absolutely right. You guys are in a relationship together. You guys belong together. So that my body, my choice doesn't make sense to me at all. It doesn't work when you're in a relationship. For long, five years, yeah. you take her to Turks and Caicos, mm -hmm. you open up her phone and you've seen something from 10 years ago, you're calling it off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like yeah. You've already, dad, this is what I'm doing. Like this, this, you're calling it off. Let me ask you another question then. Do it one more time. Another dream scenario to make so this all makes sense. Let's say you go to a fortune teller. Of your dreams, you find out five years from now, he's gonna be broke. No, no, no ability to provide security for you. Would you stay with him now that you're armed with this information? No. Fantastic. That was easily one of the best analogies I've ever heard from him. Men will always care about a woman's past, just like a woman cares about a man's future. Come on, I'm going out with the boys tonight. And before you even say anything, don't talk to me, don't call me, don't text me, don't DM me, don't Snapchat me, don't email me, don't do that weird Star 67 shit. Oh, yeah. Don't do that find my iPhone shit where you make my shit go off. Don't look at the location. Don't think about me and don't worry about me. Once again, you cannot buy your way through someone's respect. If this girl isn't respecting your boundaries or things you set for yourself, you giving her money is not going to make you respect her even more. She's just with you with the money at that point. I'm sorry. Women are incentivized to basically, there's a, there's a, such a major financial incentive for women to get divorced. As soon as there's even a, a hint of unhappiness and look, as a man, you should never sign a contract with someone who is rewarded for breaking it. No sane informed man would or should sign that contract. As a businessman, it is one of the worst contracts you could possibly sign in your entire life. Now, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I do actually like the idea of marriage. However, the way the West is handling it, I can't I can't agree to it. He's absolutely correct. It is probably the worst thing a man could do nowadays just to sign because there is a huge incentive for women to, I guess, divorce their husbands because, well, they can make a huge bag off of it. I'm pretty sure other countries don't work that way. Who are better people, men or women? Women. Why? Because we're just better than y'all. And we're so, not trashy like y'all. So have you ever like written an essay like in school? What about it? Have you ever done that? Yeah. And you just put just cause? Would that pass as a grade? Um, no. Okay. Can you give a better reason? Got he! The correct answer is men and women don't actually have to be great at the same things. Men are good at some things, women are good at other things. Why do we have to compete against this? It's such a stupid question. I don't like my makeup. I want to take it off. Why? Because I hate how it looks. Hey, yo, what are you doing? Why? I'm just trying to take it off. Why are you peeling? Oh, my skin. What? Yes, girl skin peels. How? Once a month, the, the skin peels, out. What the hell are you talking about once a month? You got... So there's two of you? Ugh. Oh, did my lips Hey, peel yo! Too? I just got married to you and now I'm finding out about... <laughs> you a damn snake, yo. Oh, look, I got new eyebrows, too. Oh, I like that. What the f You like, f a new face every time? Yeah, baby. Oh, I get prettier every single time. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> that is mean. That is ah, mean. Ah, wow, so thick. <laughs> This was on you? <laughs> At this point, who are you even dating? Is that even the same person you're waking up to? I really doubt it. I will never understand the obsession with makeup. I think it's super stupid. For a man that works in corporate or construction. I don't care what my man has at the end of the day. If he's able to support himself, not only himself and me, then I'm good with that. This girl's an absolute queen. I would definitely wipe this up. This is the kind of mindset every single man should be looking for. My number, take my number. And I was like, okay, dude, like, well, I can take your number, whatever. I'm in a rush, gotta go. Gave him my number immediately, maybe within 10 minutes, sells me a thousand dollars. She's like, I just want you to know that I'm a real man. Not Once again, I'm not sure what's with women and trying to, I guess, lead their relationship with money. Just because a guy's giving you money doesn't mean you're gonna respect him. Um, and I think you're gonna be a girl. I am not. Go. Hi, I'm your dad. I'm not... You're the who? Nah, oh, no, nah, no, ain't no way, bro. So what are we doing wrong? What does this guy have that we don't? Please, someone tell me. We're making fun of each other? Yeah, like we're roasting, roasting each other. You'll be fun. Okay, I go first. It's the stomach for me. <laughs> what if I don't have anything? I don't have anything. Just say anything. It's that beard for me. <laughs> wow. Wow. Hold on, hold on. I can't think of anything. You're making this so boring. It's the shades for me. 
<laughs> you didn't upgrade. Uh, I can't think of anything. You just say anything. Like Feed for me. <laughs> say Stop. anything. Well, I don't know what to say. Just Hold roast on. me. You're supposed to roast me. Anything? That's how, yeah, that's how the game is. You roast me. It's the white hair for me. Like that? Babe, like that? Yeah, something like that. What's wrong? Like that? Can I do it right? Move your head. This is goes to show that sometimes even if your girl is asking for some honesty, you probably shouldn't say it. It's the same thing as her saying, hey, do I look fat in this dress? And you're like, yeah, yeah, you do. She's gonna get mad regardless. Did you dump me? You really wanna know? What? I'm not a puppet. I don't need you to be a puppet. I just need you to live under me and fall under my tutelage and my leadership. So if I'm not mistaken, she pretty much just proved his point. No one wants to deal with that. Expect your guy to make a year. At least seven oh, figures, seven figures at least. She is delusional. Seven figures is literally like a million dollars. What's wrong with her? Hi, that's my ex-boyfriend. And I'm about to ask him some questions. You ready? Do you miss our relationship? <laughs> Do you know what can answer? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> okay. I, I guess I do that. If according to, I mean, if you want to believe computer but... I'm sorry, but she doesn't respect him at all. The fact that she's laughing at his feelings like that, it's a good thing in my opinion they broke up. If a girl ever laughs at you about your feelings for her, leave, bro, leave. That's not a good sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah I have, I have. What did you do? What what happened? Look, it wasn't even that bad. I didn't I didn't know they were best friends. Yo, what is wrong with people? They just don't care about who they sleep with at this point. Hey, bro, there's new shorts. What's wrong? Are they too short? Do I need to go home and change? I was just going to say they look good. Hey, babe, I got you a new car. Cheating on me? Um, who are you texting? Nobody here. You can go through my phone. My password's 5174. Jeez. Who are these hoes on your Snapchat? Bro, what? Oh Bro! What the fuck? Don't get me wrong, I definitely feel bad, but if he cheats, belongs to the streets. Pass, just like not my type, like nothing personal. Pass, just like the style. I don't know, like it's cool, but just like not my type. Oh, for real? Like, pass. I don't know. I like your mustache. Um, you just look low key old. Damn. I don't know you, so I can't say smash. Bitch, are you dumb? Pardon me? Are you dumb? Pass. I don't know. Just not my type. Tall, but still pass. I don't wow. know. <laughs> I'm not sure what these idiots are doing. And by idiots, I'm also including the men. I'm not sure why they're lining up. I guess begging for this woman to accept them, or I guess like them per se. I think it's super cringy and stupid. And they just got all embarrassed for no reason. She like any of them. You got money? <laughs> I thought you need to be talking to me, dude. <laughs> I ain't one of them. <laughs> you with the wrong one. I only brought enough for me. Period. <laughs> I really don't understand what's so funny. I'm not sure why she's laughing, but thankfully this guy put her in her place and she's not gonna be laughing when she has no food in her stomach. I had to use the bathroom, but he's been in here for an hour and a half, so. What are you doing? Who the fuck you talking to? Who are you talking to? You've been in here for an hour and a half. What the fuck are you doing? Nothing. Give me your phone. Give me your phone. Nothing. Give me your phone. Give me your phone. Give me your phone. You're Give me your phone. No. You're cheating. You're cheating. I want to hear it again. Why did you cheat on me? Just tell me. I already told you why. I know, but I want to hear it again. For what? Are you recording this shit? No, chill out, Owen. Tell me why. Because after you had Emmett, you were giving him all the attention, so every time I went to work, a girl at work was giving me all the attention, so that's why I did it. Okay, you realize that I was taking care of our son, right? That's absolutely easily one of the worst excuses I've ever heard for cheating. Don't get me wrong, a lot of people like to use the emotional excuse saying, Oh, you know, you were never there for me. You never give me any time. But the woman is taking care of your son. Stop being a little kid. You can control your emotions. And there's absolutely no excuse for cheating. I'm sorry. Also, I have no idea why she's still trying to communicate with him. But kicking him out of the house was definitely the best idea. Rather cheat on your girlfriend or snitch on your best friend. Bro, that's hard. I'm cheating on my girlfriend. I'm cheating what on the so oh, long, like, what do you expect though? Like, are you kidding me? We've been together for like three years. Yeah, but like I'm loyal. Like, what no, do you bring no. to the table besides? Shorty, you don't, you don't clean. Like you barely work. You chose like, right now to I do this. I pay for everything. Okay, bye. Oh my goodness. What about you though? What's your snap? Um, Answering any of these questions on a live interview is absolutely stupid. It doesn't do you any justice. Sure, this may be some kind of skit, but if you ever get approached with a girl with a mic, immediately just start walking away and don't answer anything. Good women be drafted for war. 
like too tough for me to answer. You're a victim. Mm. Here we go, CSI. Yeah, I, know. I, know. <laughs> I mean, do I want to be drafted? Drafted check. Not for last one. Not for me. No, no from you. A few moments later. Do you think feminism has gone too far? <laughs> I, I don't know how to answer that. Yeah, I don't. Next question. Next question. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Never. No. No. That's a loaded question, but <laughs> ultimately, no. So, in what ways are women still fighting for equality? Every single way possible. Oh. Well, every. Oh my God. Um. I work all the time. Like I probably get. I know my like old manager got paid less than one of the other guys. People just don't want to talk to women. I swear. Specialty. They're like, um, can I talk to a man? And they're like, no. I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> these women have no idea what they're talking about and regarding feminism and I guess even getting drafted in the war these women want equality and equal rights however the only ones that benefit them now I guess the entire package if these are the modern day women we're gonna be dealing with I really fear for the future <laughs> what's all that movement back there what's all that movement back there it's a whole lot of clapping <laughs> I beg your pardon. Yo, grandmother needs to relax, and honestly, we must stay focused. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. <laughs> Out of all the space in the gym, she has to do it right in front of him. She obviously wants him, don't get me wrong, but she definitely got rejected at the end of it. Ever date him with girls? Okay, sorry. Why do you join us? Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Okay, next. Excuse me, um, would you ever date an OF girl? One of them e Excuse me? Them, uh, e Like, e You know what I mean? <laughs> no. What you mean? So, no. Them e so you would? Perhaps, yeah. What if they were me? Oh. Maybe I'm just asking the wrong type of people. Okay, would you ever date an OF girl? Uh, why don't you read? But I'm like, I'll pay for everything. Why don't you read? It's actually hilarious that none of these men are treating her with any respect because we all know women who do any kind of OnlyFans are just modern day street workers. You guys will never gain any respect from anyone. And anybody who dates you will never see you as a wife, I'm sorry. But in this next clip, it is absolutely insane and my jaw literally dropped at the end of it. Trisha, I know you kiss boys in the locker room. I know you kiss boys in the locker room. Me? Yes. Kiss boys in the locker room. Yes, I. People literally tell me all the time. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard you say. Fisher, I literally have proof. Do you kiss boys in the locker room? Yes or no? <laughs> no. I'm not gay. Are you sure? So, am I dating you for a friend? Yes. So I don't love you. I don't. No, probably not. If you kiss boys in the locker room. Because I kissed a boy one time. I See? You do <laughs> kiss him in the locker room. It was for a dare. Okay, it no, was for I, a TikTok. Okay, no, I don't care. I'm I know gay. someone else actually said that you were actually kissing boys in and the locker room. And I do consistently? Yes, I literally have time. proof. I'll because I like it? I'll show you. Because yes, like yes. I'll show you right now. I'm sorry, but that's just cheating and also super weird. I would probably break up with him if I was her. For cheating on my sister. Up. How can I help you? Uh, it's just wondering where Ryan was. Um, Ryan, why do you want to know where Ryan is? He's out with his friends. Right? Um, he kind of cheated on my sister, and Ryan wouldn't do that. For one, he's a virgin, so why would the hell would you do that? I don't know. He cheated on my sister, and my sister is having a nervous breakdown. I wanted to have a one on one conversation with him. Why are you recording? Um, what's going on with your friend? I, no, no, I'm, I'm really. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This kid needs to relax. First off, when someone gets cheated on, the best kind of revenge is doing absolutely nothing and focusing on yourself. Approaching a random house and trying to have a random conversation, like you're gonna put some fear in his heart, is doing absolutely nothing for you. And to be honest, this kid just kind of embarrassed himself and his sister. That 
was easily the best proposal I have ever seen. Did you guys hear what he said at the end of it? That's disgusting. I'm sorry. Why didn't you marry your child's father? Why didn't I marry my daughter's father? Because I didn't want to. And he was, I mean, we were not, that was not the path that I took for a reason. I'm asking why. I was, I mean, I just didn't want to. He wasn't marriage material. That was but he was we birth material. Yeah, he, he was someone that I did have a child with. And why did you make a baby with him? I wanted to. Why did you exactly. make a baby with who you wanted to make? And there we go. There we go. There we go. When they start answering questions with questions, they're triggered and deflecting. This is all it confuses me so much how women are easily able to just, I guess, get a baby from a man. However, the moment the thought of marriage or marrying the same guy that they're hooking up with comes into play, they're like immediately against it. How is having a baby less of a responsibility than getting married? Some of these women just don't have their priorities straight at all, and it's absolutely insane. Texting my wife. I just dropped her off at the dentist. I'm on the way. Regardless if this is a skit or not, the fact this woman is trying to stay next to him so he doesn't do anything is not the correct move. You can't stay by his side 24-7 expecting that he's not going to cheat just because you're by him. If a person's going to want to cheat, they're going to cheat regardless. But if something like this ended up happening and it was serious, I'm sorry, I'm out of there. What a horrible, disgusting human being. Thankfully, the guy was there and exposed her on the spot. Like, did she really think she was gonna get away with it? I'd love to know. I mean, honestly, like, you were cool from the start. Like, you were cool for a little while, but you, I'm not gonna lie, like, I do kind of like the finer things in life, so. Okay, perfect. All that is right outside that door. You don't need to have any of that for me anymore. Okay. All those so, opportunities are right in that safe and right out that door. You don't need to call me anymore, text me anymore. <laughs> You can, I don't know why you're here still. It's I mean, it works. So, I mean, if you guys are gonna put this online, um, I expect- well, Again, we're covering your face. Yeah, we're not okay, going but I expect anymore. the check, so, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's great. And, uh, if I don't get my money, I guess I will come back to you so that you will have no money. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. It turns. This is pretty much proves that the moment a woman gets caught cheating, she doesn't feel bad. She just feels bad that she got caught. That's all. However, the way she felt about him the entire time stayed the same, and she pretty much exposed that at the end of the clip. She never really respected him or even cared about him, or I guess even his business or clothing brand. She lost respect for him a long time ago. Adam, why are your ears so big? Oh, okay. Okay, well, you're not much to look at either. <laughs> I never told your ex. I didn't want him to go on my phone because I was actually right. cheating. What did you say? You didn't want him to go on your phone because I he was cheating. I wanted to go on my phone, so then I started crying because I didn't want him to go on my phone, but I was actually talking to other oh, guys on my She phone. gave him the whole waterworks. You're a good actress. I fully, I fully went in the bathroom, locked the door, and was crying. Oh, so then God. I broke up with him, and then he became psycho, and I have to have a restraining order. Shout out! Now, I always say time and time again on this channel that you should always check your spouse's phone. For some odd reason, though, you guys in the comments always rip me for saying that, saying, no, you should trust your partner. It's not your job to see if they're faithful or not. But I will never understand that. Why would you even want to risk wasting your time like this guy was? If she wasn't gaslighting him and he actually went through her phone, he would have saved so much time and left the relationship a long time ago. Seeing one of my ex-lovers look completely fantastic. Honestly, like, he looked so so good and let me tell you something it has absolutely ruined my day i am livid absolutely livid because that's not how it goes when you have an ex-lover they go down they don't go up his haircut was sharper than usual this pretty much proved that the best thing you can do after a breakup is not seek revenge but actually focus on yourself and i guess self-improve because the best revenge is making them want you back again to this whole video I have been with my fiance for seven years. We got engaged last year and he is the best thing that has ever happened to me. Recently, while surfing alone, I met this guy and we had a great first conversation. He is incredibly attractive, intelligent, driven, and confident. He is recently married and asked for my number at the end of the surf session. I made it clear it should be a double date because I'm engaged and he's married. Fast forward two months and we've all hung out a couple of times. However, the more we hang out, the more I am growing a real crush on this guy. Ah. I feel guilty for feeling this way. This has never happened to me before and I'm constantly uneasy because the temptation is very real. Are you surprised? Are you surprised at all? But what I'm saying is Listen. she didn't do anything wrong the first time. 
Yes, she did. You're saying Are you ready? the number or change? Yeah. yeah. The person who's commenting the store is an absolute idiot. Of course, this entire thing is cheating. I don't care what anybody says. And the girl on the podcast is also pretty delusional. There's no way she really thinks that it's not wrong for her to give her number away to another man. Cheating isn't just physical, guys. The moment she gave that number, she already cheated. Dating is hard because I think men, they're just kind of like trash. When you see a fat person, you automatically think they are lazy, they stink. I go to the gym three, four times a week. I don't eat sugar. I don't, you know, I don't drink soda. I don't drink juice. I don't go to fast food. Being big and beautiful, I just feel like I'm a goal, like I'm a conqueror. Keep telling yourself that, darling. I'm sorry, coming from a person who actually works out, there's no way you're actually gonna be in the gym four days a week. And I guess eating healthy by her standards and still look like that. It's literally physically impossible unless you're doing nothing all day. Uh, uh, come on, it's over the gate, man. Get over the gate. Come on. Okay, okay, keep going, keep going, oh, let's get that hole, hold on, oh, <laughs> damn, <laughs> oh, I will never understand why women put themselves in this position and still show up the next day and do it again. You canceled in the middle of a ride, you knew what you were doing. No, I wasn't, uh, I just like, I knew that, uh, just like, um, Whipped us two stops. Stop the cap. I knew that. Day. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I do. All right. Uber I'll catch recently you later. just started doing two stops, just like. You can lift. do as many stops as you want. You don't have to cancel it to make that happen. I didn't know that because I just knew that Uber recently started doing two stops. Mm-hmm. All I know is I'm gonna reach you zero stars, dude. I have four point nine six stars. Have a good reason. night. I can do the same thing to you. Bye. So this is where shit starts to pop off, and I'll just kind of let this play out. Hope you don't look at me different after this. Enjoy. You. I got you on camera. You know that? I know what you were trying to do. You were trying to be shady. You're a I'm not trying to be shady. Yeah, yeah, you were trying to be I'm not even sure why he hoped that we don't look at him any differently in the clip. What he did was absolutely correct, and it doesn't take a brain to realize that. This girl's trying to rip him off and play him, but thankfully he defended himself and had everything recorded. I don't think he did anything wrong. Mmm, mmm, ouch. For the street she goes. Hey, what's something toxic that you like? When they tell me to shut up, puts you in your place. It's just hot, you know? Being a little abusive. What do you mean by that? When he get real jealous, when he see me talking to another boy, he take it out on me, so. I like when people don't let me leave. Huh? I like causing a scene in public so I can embarrass you, like. When they're controlling, like, tell me what I can and can't do. Mine's when he gets into fights with other guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. you can fight? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah I came with him. <laughs> <laughs> I like to manipulate people. Sometimes when I know that their emotions are easy, easily manipulated. What the fuck? is wrong with you if you don't think i'm right i gotta start a fight with you not knowing what to expect one day and the next day you're just being f***ed over when i tell him to leave me alone and he pull up on me i like it when they ignore me i like saying stuff that i know gonna make you mad i like pissing people off when they always have to have my location like know what i'm doing i like to stalk people like when they're in their house so like if you move rooms and i'll text you because like what are you doing what the f when guys are on and off you need a break from people to like miss them and stuff like you care about them more yeah all of these toxic things that people like are absolutely stupid i'm gonna be honest and say this came from social media there's no way people were like this 100 years ago liking all this stupid toxic stuff we shouldn't normalize it and it's definitely a huge red flag if a girl really says this so i'm getting my back blown out in a bedroom at this random party and someone tries coming in thankfully it was locked so we just kept going quietly but it was annoying because I just wanted to get my nut in. So I tried to speed up the pace because homeboy was not doing the job. Then I hear the doorknob clicking again and this time it swings right open. And it happens to be the dude's friends that I'm smashing and they start laughing. And they start laughing, apologizing, are about to walk out. But I told them, hold on, are y'all not going to hop in? Because this dude wasn't working. So why not get his besties? So now I'm getting railed in all three of my holes and honestly, it was the highlight of my year. Just remember, your man's besties always got your back. Follow for daily advice. Now, would you guys be surprised after hearing all of this that this girl actually has an OnlyFans in her bio? It actually comes by surprise why a woman would ever say this about herself on social media, pretty much embarrassing her entire reputation. All you had to do was really look in the bio and realize this girl already had an OnlyFans account and already ruined her reputation. I'm gonna have three 
while drunk. I had that go down. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> it was a good time. <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, well, have you ever had free? Uh, no. Sweet luck. This woman has no respect for her man at all. If a girl is happy to talk about her prior experiences in front of her man, she doesn't care about him. Can't live, we can't live in no BBL. That's what's for a house, you dumb Oh, Baby. man, set the big back, back away from me. Please. Took my $20,000 and went and got a BBL without you asking. Can you quit? Quit. Me. Quit touching me, man. You don't want to get No, stop, stop touching me. Don't fuck me. I don't. Please stop. Don't. Bro, stop talking to me. I don't give a none of that. Please. I don't give a. I'm sorry, but to some people, this is actually worse than cheating, losing $20,000 on a down payment on a house that could have just set up your entire life, all because this woman wanted a BBL? Yeah, we're breaking up. I don't care. There's no way. Go return that thing. Go get your money back. I don't know how. Down, bro, I didn't try to show her a good time. Picked her up in the range. We was going to eat at brick. Like, that's crazy. Ain't nobody texting nobody. Man, you, I just no seen phone. the dude in your phone, That's bro. my brother. That ain't your brother. That's my brother. I just seen him in your phone, bro. I can't text my brother? No, bro. You, you playing games with me right now. You know how much money I just spent on you? You don't even know what you saw. Bro, you know how much money I just spent on you, bro. That's crazy, man. Can we go eat you, 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 came, you came looking this good for what? Can we go eat now? Now you finna have to leave because guess what? You you straight tried to play me. You, you, you tried to play me. You really I'm not one of them, bro. What? Like for real. You I'm not one of them. You ain't even know what you saw. I wasn't texting nobody. I seen the I dude in your nobody. phone. You keep lying, bro. Yeah, I wasn't bro, I seen nobody. the dude in your phone, bro. It wasn't a dude. Man, pull a message sister. up. Pull a message up right now. Y'all see this a low down female. Look, he calling you right now. That's crazy. Now the clip doesn't end there, guys. He actually does just leave her in the street stranded and actually goes and I guess lets her find her own ride home. And people in the comments were actually bashing him for it, saying, no, he should at least dropped her off. In my opinion, she's texting a whole other dude. It's that dude's problem now, not mine. We're done. But please keep watching. You want to stand on? I picked you up. You can stop now, you're video, you're I'm not making myself look dumb. Nobody. I'm not making myself look dumb. Look at her. Look what she got on, y'all. That's crazy. You came, you came, you came looking like that for no reason. All right, go ahead and walk. Turn the camera off. No, I'm not turning the camera off. Go ahead and walk. Go ahead and walk. Go ahead and walk. Walk. Bye. Bye. Hey, I tried, tried to show her a good time, bro. These females unappreciative. Look at her. She looks stupid. You silly. Goofy. Yep, I would have done the exact same thing. I don't think he did anything wrong in my opinion. Me, Great, because I love you. I, I never wanted to not be with you. I never wanted to be without you. I want to do life with you. But in the process of all this shit happening, you a liar. You got you a bitch and I had to hear from this bitch what y'all relationship was about. Nah, we not fucking no more. I want to see other people. You act like you're the only fucker in this relationship that other people want to So what we gonna do is we gonna stay together. We gonna have a beautiful life together for the rest of our lives. We gonna continue getting money together. We gonna continue raising this little girl together. We gonna have a fabulous home. We're gonna love and take care of each other. But I'm gonna f other people. And I hope you do too. Ooh. Jesus Christ. And we will never ever talk about it. Don't bring me no babies. Don't bring me no diseases. But we gonna do what we wanna do outside this house because to this point it has worked. Now this sounds like an absolute living hell. Don't get me wrong, I understand she got cheated on, but why not just go through a divorce? Why see a person who cheated on you every single day and actually deal with this every single day of your life? It's just not gonna last. Just get a divorce and move on and see other people. This relationship is completely over. This guy is completely checked out. He doesn't care about her or the relationship anymore, to be honest. There's more money than you. I wouldn't mind. You won't be bothered. No. I want my husband to earn like a quite a substantial amount more than I do. If he earned, I don't know, fifty, sixty thousand pound a year. That's not a lot. That's not enough for you. No. Why, what plan did you got? Sixty thousand pound a year. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. What's that wage like monthly? Mm. It's not. That's like four grand a month. Four, five. Who five, lives five, on that? No, that's not enough. You can live on four grand a month. I personally, me alone, but that is just not just me alone. What kind of things are you doing in your spare time? Cause he lives, you know. Cause he lives. Cause he lives. You gotta scale it back. You gotta tone it down. She said four grand a month is no good. No, but if I'm gonna settle I'm with a man, he needs to have a, a, a decent, a decently great wage. What? Cause you're trying to spend it. No, because I want to be provided for if I needed it. Yeah, but what if he can provide for you within your means? You're trying to live beyond within your means. Within my means. No, not beyond my means. I want to have a nice life. I don't know if I'm the guy for her. 
Like, I mean, I'd work, I'd try. Like, you know what I'm trying to say, but no, nah, that's not my mind. Don't get me wrong, if the man is the breadwinner of the family and the woman isn't working, the man does need to make a bit more money in order for you guys to survive. That's just basic logic. However, if she is working, 60 grand a year or 70 grand a year is actually fine if she is working. But let me know what you guys think in the comments about how much money is actually all right every single month. Stay with me. Take an hour of your time and that's too much to ask you. Why is it too much to ask you for an hour of your time? When every single time we have came here, the past five times we have came here, I let you go off, I let you do whatever you want, and then you tell me you're going to stay with me, and then you don't, you just leave me. What's your name? And then ironically... <laughs> Once again, I'm not sure why people just can't wait until they go home. If you're willing to embarrass your boyfriend or have an argument with your boyfriend in front of a bunch of people, you don't respect him. I'm sorry. No. Dad, give me my phone. No. If you don't give me my phone, we are done. I'm going Dad, through it. I want to see. Give me my phone. But I want to see me it. My phone. Babe, don't no. break the glass. Give me my phone. No. Give me my phone. What are you got hiding? What are you hiding? Babe, give me my phone. No, don't do that. No. Give me my phone. Babe, give me my phone. Give me my phone. No. I want to see this. No. And I guess this is once again my cue to everyone. Check your spouse's phone. I know it's strange for me to say, but you'd rather find out now and get over with it than just prolong it and waste a bunch of your time. But you guys can take this advice or not. But there's actually some people that would say that this is a bit too far and that he shouldn't have done that even though she was cheating. But regardless, if she cheats, he belongs to the streets. You definitely need assistance with literally everything that you do. Like, you cannot do anything by yourself. Dude, um, come on. But you definitely can't drive. A woman? I'm Mr. Body Catcher. Who will argue up and down that there's no way that Lizzo is in shape? Then turn on the TV and watch their favorite 300 pound offensive lineman play a two hour game. I see the parallels. Sometimes you just got to be quiet because you don't know what you're talking about. Like, Lizzo's not doing this at 300 pounds, bro. Lizzo's not running a 4 six forty at 300 pounds. She's not doing a nine-foot broad jump at 300 pounds. Like, what is wrong with y'all, bro? Lizzo's 300. It's the same as... No, it's not. She doesn't have a 32 inch vertical. Stop playing with me. Not only that, usually someone who plays in the NFL is also gonna be like 6'5". While Lizzo is like, what, 5'10"? If someone wants to argue that Lizzo is actually in shape, let's see how fast she can run a mile first. You don't deal with women that play games. Mm. But wasn't that thing on your board just like literally your game plan? It's a structure and how I approach women. It's not a game. It's a strategy. Okay. I, I would There's consider no... it a game. That's why I would block him because I hate games. Yeah, but I wouldn't chat to you anyway, Two. so you need to stop saying that. But... Two, the women on your roster... <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I'm wondering who's triggered here. The women on your roster... <laughs> you. Me? <laughs> you. I, I definitely am not hell talking about how you're going to block me. I, what? I definitely <laughs> am not triggered. Yeah, she was absolutely making no sense. That's like a man firing someone before even hiring them. He definitely shut that down real quick. This can't be real. But do you know that you're a musician? But that's why I'm interviewing you today, so I can get to know you. So I'm a musician? Mm -hmm. What the f*** that mean? Make magic or something? What is musician? I think that's... I think you're confusing that. Yeah, I'm not no musician. I, I make music. I make I, music. I, and that's not all I do. I make music. I act. I'm a TV star, too. A young mom. Uh-huh. I, just really quick, I think you're confusing. I'm not confusing nothing because I, you you don't know. I, you thought that all I was was a magician or whatever the f you said. See, that's what I think you think I said. No, I said musician, I think, not what, magician. I don't think, baby. But I don't think. I, what is that? That's ghetto. I don't think. I know. So you you think? I didn't say magician, Suki. I said musician. And I think you are a musician. No, baby. I do music. So you just really, just really quick. For the record, could you say you don't think you're a musician? I'm not none of that. But then after that, you just said, I do music. Yeah, I do music. So, in other yeah. words, you're a musician. No, I'm not. Okay. I genuinely lost brain cells watching this clip. You can definitely tell she has a huge ego and had no idea what this woman was saying. How does she actually make music and doesn't even know what the word musician even means? She tried making it seem like she's super famous and does so many things, but doesn't even know what a single word means. You could say something to your ex right now, what would it be? Um, I hope you're good. He was like, he was amazing actually. He was an amazing guy. He was amazing? Yeah. Then why you lost feelings? I'm amazing. He just, he just, he just 
just wasn't it for me, but he's a really good guy, amazing guy. What can men do to avoid a situation like that? They're an amazing guy, really they do everything right. You can do, like, it's just like your feelings, like, there's absolutely nothing. He can treat you like a queen and be the best guy ever, but, like, you just, I don't know. You, you can't do nothing? It's nothing, yeah. Women. But this is actually every single man's biggest fear. They can do pretty much everything correct. And this pretty much shows that sometimes even when you do treat a woman correctly, she'll still leave you. Sometimes it's not your girl, it's just your turn. Dating a girl with a kid is like playing story mode on another dude's saved game. What the I mean, you're not wrong, <laughs> but you didn't have to say it. I mean How horrible is it that the patriarchy society has made it that you know men age like fine wine but what women age like prunes and when the menopause kicks we're all dead like it's just awful. i don't think that came from patriarchy that came from women oh and i'll say that because it's women who express desires for qualities that older men have that's where it's like men age like fine wine it's not men that said that it's women the sexiest man alive for like the past seven eight years running has been men over the age of 40. george Clooney was Brad Pitt, I think Idris Elba. These are all men over the age of 40. So the whole thing that men age like fine wine has always come from women. It's never come from men. Women are attracted to security while men are actually attracted to fertility. I mean, at this point, it's also just simple biology. If a woman is too old, she can't bear kids. So obviously the younger ones are usually better. But this is also why some famous figures like Leonardo DiCaprio can date anyone he wants. He'll date them because they're young and they'll date them because he's famous. Damn, shoddy, what's... Oh, never mind, you fucking pregnant, my bad. <laughs> Sometimes a bad heartbreak can literally change the man for the better. It's a benefit in disguise, to be honest. This is anything you want it to be as a woman. I am promiscuous because I'm a feminist, but you can also be conservative because I'm a feminist. Modern day feminism is about you and what you make it and not what someone 60 years ago said it was. First off, I don't agree with feminism. However, you can say feminism encourages women to sleep around and still feel like they're still high valued women at the end of it. And it's not some kind of theology or mindset. It just makes no sense what she's saying right now. She doesn't have social media. Is that a red flag or a green flag? Green flag. If she doesn't have social media? Absolutely. No joke, it is a piece of the downfall of modern humanity. Oh. In a way that is, that we don't even see it coming. It's gonna be like- It belongs right in the colostomy bag. I think a colostomy bag has a higher moral integrity than social media. Let's all be honest here, modern day social media is literally just a dating app. The more a woman posts and the more she's on it, she's just advertising herself to more people because she needs the attention. The less a woman is on social media, the better. You want a woman who's not addicted to that amount of attention. So when you do come in her life, she's still not seeking it out. Do you regret working so much? Like, was it worth it? My first marriage fell apart. What I was left with is that I have three beautiful children and my time with my family was the most important thing in the world to me way more important than any money. After my divorce, I would have given everything away because I can always make money, but you can't give back time with people. Certain things have permanent lasting consequences, you know. So, yeah, I do regret working so hard. I regret not having the right balance. He actually has a point. What the hell is the point of all that money you can't share or spend it with anyone? The main point for everyone to become successful is so you can have more times with the people you care about. However, let's say you do OnlyFans and you have success and it's keeping you away from your family. What's the point of success at that point? Women are not objects. You guys come to a baddie. Not spending money, but you don't spend money, a baddie is definitely not sticking around. You gotta spend your bread. How many guys spend on you? First date? Yeah. Like 2000 Got it, she bugging. Now let's guess what actually happened to that man who spent $2,000 on that date. He's not in the picture. She's clearly talking to other men with another man around her, which means it's pretty much pointless to spend this amount of money on a woman on the first date, because clearly by the looks of it, it didn't help his odds. When he thought of myself as... Mm -hmm an attractive person like mm -hmm. i would never call myself anything more than a four but now like i don't really care about mm -hmm. what anyone thinks about me like i've grown into myself and i've i've i'm comfortable with who i am now that like even if i you guys call me delusion or whatever i think i'm maybe not a 10 let's not go that far but <laughs> like definitely an eight what the hell you say definitely an eight no Per. So like, <laughs> whether you guys think I am or not, eh? That's got but, nothing to do with her. 
Mm. But like, so yeah. what is it that took you from a four to an eight? If nothing's changed, it, what is it that takes you from a four Loving myself to an eight? And, and, and looking in the mirror and not being disgusted at what I see. You can't make this shit up. She is getting this completely confused. Having confidence and understanding where you stand in the dating market are two completely different things. You can still feel like you're confident, but you can also still feel like you're a seven or eight. It's important to understand where you stand so that way you aren't chasing people who are completely out of your league. It's a hard pill to swallow, but that's reality. <laughs> Now this DJ was actually hilarious, however he doesn't beat this one. But I just noticed one thing. My ex-girlfriend just walked in here with the guy she cheated on me with. Can you believe that shit? I can't believe that shit. I'm gonna play a song for her though real quick. This one. You already know she's not showing her face up in that bar anymore. Why is it Why is it speed? Hey. No, it's okay. You have a husband. Husband, don't. 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 Look, look, look. Stop. Stop. You have a husband. Good job, my brother. We rocking with the fact that not only her husband had a stopper, but her friend did as well. And even this random dude who was a foreigner all had to come together just to get this woman off of him. This is pretty much proves that cheating sometimes just isn't a mistake. It's part of their character. It's literally who they are. And sometimes no matter how much begging and pleading you do, they just don't change. What's the fastest car you've been in before this? I was in a Rari. I've been in a Lambo. <clears throat> Oh, I'm beating your way. What did she think was gonna happen? She definitely has glass in her feet 100%. I want to go 50 50 with you on a first date. Here's what I want you to say. Oh, I can't even believe I didn't offer. I just assumed it would be emasculating for you. But no, if you're fine with it, no, I'm, I'm happy to pay half. <laughs> Congratulations. You played yourself. Great, so basically if a man never pays, just gaslight him and manipulate him into paying. That way you could still ghost him and never see him again. Also, make sure to give this advice on TikTok so a bunch of women do it to men and wonder why you're still single. I generally wish there was more content to this clip. This is all I got. Instead of helping her out, he just ended up recording. I'm so confused. Mmm, I love gummies. Big hug. That's a lot of meat. <laughs> I need to go back to my therapist. Only fans detected, so opinion rejected. Say you were 100 pounds at, like, when we got into the relationship, but throughout time, you tend to gain almost 200 pounds, which is literally two of you, right? Yes. And I don't sign for a polygamous relationship, okay? If I came up to you and said, hey, I'm becoming unattractive to you, you're getting a little fat, would that be okay for me to say that to you? Uh, yes, because you're being honest. I like honesty. All right, honesty. good. Honesty is truthful in a relationship. If you don't have honesty, you don't have nothing. Honestly, W response from her. When you're in a relationship, you guys should both be pushing each other to become better every day. And if she can't handle criticism or take your advice in order for her to become better, huge red flag in my opinion. How do you approach a guy that you're interested in? We don't. We like You give him like a look. Yeah, you blink across. <laughs> Ladies, how is this the signal? I'm sorry, but if you think just looking at a man and doing a blink blink, not even a wink, just a blink blink. You cannot be surprised that the man that you want to be approached by doesn't. And then the guy that you don't want to be approached by does. Ladies, just turn it on its head and start approaching men when you're interested in them. Yeah, can we just please normalize that for once? These women really want men who are mind readers. And just like this woman said, especially if you want him, he probably has a bunch of other girls also wanting him. And there's going to be girls actually approaching him who's going to get him unlike you. I was unfaithful a few times and ended up... Uh, mothering children from those men. You what? Oh my God. On my husband.
Oh my um, God. So you were married to your husband, but you were having children with other men. I was, I was, um, and he raised them as his own. Oh my God. And knew them to be his own until the divorce. Did you premeditate this or just you, all of a sudden you found out you were pregnant by somebody you were cheating with? Oh no, it was definitely not premeditated, but we weren't using protection. Um, <laughs> so it was premeditated. I didn't yeah. say like, I'm going to have sex with this man to have a baby, you know? But I mean, I guess there was nothing done to prevent it. Um, and the first man that I had the affair with first. was, is now, is now my boyfriend, um, the father of my first child, my son. And uh, he was my husband's assistant manager. You what? My fucking. I might just stay single. I don't know if I'm gonna get married. I'm, I'm, I'm happy being alone. Yeah, this was easily one of the most disturbing videos I have ever seen. I'm not sure if you guys seen my last video from yesterday, but basically I made a comment saying that there should be a prison sentence for women who do this to men. They should be held accountable by their government because this is happening far too often. These men not only are having emotional trauma and breaking their hearts, realizing that these kids are not theirs, but they are losing thousands of dollars taking care of kids who are not theirs that money needs to either be sent back to them or this woman deserves to be in prison the amount of years she lied to him his income to be what kind of range would his income be um like 300,000 I would have to say one You can easily tell by the way these women speak, they have no idea how money is made. And it's probably the reason why they're all still single. These expectations are keeping them single and they don't even realize it because social media has normalized it to the point where they think it's just attainable for everyone. Newsflash, majority of Americans only make around 50K a year. So you captioned this video, what were they thinking? Well, here's my question. What were you thinking taking a video, shaking your ass in the bathroom at a Dolphins game just to intentionally get the reaction of others? And all for what? For some likes and attention on social media? Really? And I'll tell you what they're thinking. They're thinking I would love to go to the restroom in peace without being recorded by anybody, then get back to my seat and watch some football. And that poor woman in the back that's just trying to do her job, look how visibly uncomfortable she is. It blows my mind what people will do and how they'll disrespect others just to get views on social media today. You should be banned from Dolphins games. You need to do better. Mind your own business. Now, unpopular opinion, but giving this girl even more attention is just boosting her views and I guess even her OnlyFans. There's gonna be people coming from Joey Swole's video wondering who this girl is and actually still buying her OnlyFans, even though she's a horrible human being. Heck, even in this video that you guys are probably watching, there's probably some of you guys wondering where her Instagram tag is. Going back in my video so you guys can look it up later. At the end of the day, bad attention to these OnlyFans girls are still attention. And as long as they're getting paid, they really don't care about what you say. Going over to our next lady. So Donna, I popped it because you seem very tired and what don't 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 no laugh. It's very serious. And like sleepy and I was thinking like an extra in Friday. And I thought like extra on Friday. The film, like like big smoky and like an extra on Friday. Yeah, I was like That's how I'm looking. Yeah. Um, she's trying to go viral, that's why that's No, I'm not. I'm not trying to go viral. I'm just like extra. I, I think I'm fed up because like every guy pretty much that like, came out, they're not dressed properly. And I like I feel like this is really rude and disrespectful. And I'm just like, what what's the point? So I'm just it's not I'm not trying to go viral whatsoever. I mean, yeah, I'm not Well how you want your man to dress? How presentable, respectful What is presentable to you? Presentable, I mean maybe a collared shirt and slacks or something, dress shoe. 
maybe like the lip not hanging. Hmm? <laughs> it's not funny. You said his his lip is hanging. I can't do it. I hope it was hanging like like I don't know how to do it. But. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So, Bo, is she your type? Yeah. I'm not even trying to be petty. She's pretty, but yeah. And why not? Uh, too scary. I better be a model. But then again, anybody can be a model. You're right. That's right. <laughs> Now, she pretty much had a whole shopping list of just insults to this guy. And he was taking it like a man. First off, he's actually pretty decently looking. And he's dressed fine. But the moment he gave her one insult, yo, her demeanor changed completely. And she was super sad the entire time. Girls that show that validation for women is completely everything to them. When you cheated on him because you thought he was going to cheat first, but he didn't. So not only did you cheat, you thought it was a great idea to post this online. Genius. Oh, it's like if your wife or, or girl was bringing in like 250, 300K a year, would you be... Yeah, guys, if the roles were switched and I had someone providing for me, trust me, guys, I would not complain and I would take the opportunity immediately. However, feminism somehow brainwashed women into thinking that this is slavery while working 40 hours a week at a company that doesn't care about you is liberating. Do you think someone should spend on an engagement ring? Well, let me show you mine. <laughs> this belonged to my husband's grandmother and was made in 1930s in Pampa, Texas. So it cost my husband actually zero dollars. How much should the guy pay for an engagement ring? My biggest question is, I'm not sure what's going to cost more money at the end of the day. The ring he's going to buy her. But the amount of money it's going to take to feed this woman and sustain her. Yo, phone. That's bro. my brother. That ain't your brother. That's my brother. I just seen him in your phone, bro. I think that's my brother. No, bro. You, you playing games with me right now. You know how much money I just spent on you? You don't even know what you saw. Bro, you know how much money I just spent on you, bro. That's crazy, man. You 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 can't you can't looking this good for what? Go now you finna have to leave because guess what? You you straight tried to play me. You, you, you tried to play me. Really I'm not one of them, bro. What? Like for real. You I'm not one of them. You ain't even know what you I'm not. I wasn't texting nobody. I seen I the dude in your phone. You keep lying, bro. Yeah, I wasn't even bro, I seen nobody. the dude in your phone, bro. It wasn't a dude. Man, that pull the message up. Pull the message up right now. Y'all see this a low down female? Look, he calling you right now. Ain't nobody calling me. That's crazy. This is probably one of the most saddest clips on the list. This girl is literally cheating while he's taking her out on a nice date outside. She still decides to, I guess, take advantage of everything. Instead of appreciating her boyfriend saying, you know what, he's so sweet for taking me out, she still wants to text the whole other dude. That's insane. Some girls really don't deserve nice guys, and they really belong in the street, sadly. Up. Uh, we went to this little hotel. There was another girl there who was a host, and these guys uh, pay her money to like be a part of the game bang. I fucked 27 guys that day. You're right, Scoob. We're dealing with one sick bitch. And it was so beautiful. And what it was the? Awesome. But the <sighs> best, the best part was that it was also Super Bowl Sunday, and I don't give a f about football, but I'll never forget that the Rams won last year's Super Bowl because the irony. There was, while you were getting Rams, there was there was one guy behind me, another guy in front of me, and one guy on the side. And oh, that's a halftime show. They they won, and the guy behind me was like, "Yeah, the Rams won," and I was like, "I guess the Rams won." Like it was so fun. I'm not even sure why she's saying this. Like she's super proud. I literally give her ten more years max before she starts forgetting everything, realizing she's have a, a family, a husband, kids, or a nice home to go to, and I guess just an empty mansion because she just made all this money for no reason you're literally sacrificing your entire future for a, a good 10 years of fun and after that it's pretty much over because no one wants to be around you not even your own family because you ruined your entire reputation this is disgusting this is just fatherless behavior that we should not be encouraging on the internet just taste this i can't i can't taste what what you want to no not anymore what do you mean not anymore? because it's apparently you're sharing your love with the whole city i'm sharing my love yeah, don't care about him then what were you doing you are you fucking me you should no, nobody's talking. A and B conversation. Uh-uh. You don't give a f about me. Oh nobody no. does, dog. I'm catching H I V just from being me? around. Get your f hands off her. Oh, swear to God. This is childish. What, what, a weird, what the f is that? What were you doing in there? I just told you. Why don't you just admit it? Is that you're f him and half the town probably? That's a lie. Okay, so what are you doing in the car with him then? Yeah. I just told you we're just friends. We're just
are Why are you doing back here? We're doing what? Huh? Is that true? We were just what, we're talking. Just friends? Is that true? Just get away from me, bro. Just friends? Get Come away on. from me right now. We weren't just friends last night, were we? We oh, yeah. We were just I swear to God. I swear to God. We just. I will kill you. We're just friends. I'm right here, baby. Get out of here. This is not Come necessary. Why don't you go this is that not necessary. There. I'll get you a microscope yeah. so you can go find that. You're being really childish. Oh, yeah. You're not listening to me. Maybe your was a little bit better, she wouldn't be coming to me, bro. Oh, my God. Okay, stop fighting. God, this is so tough. Can you stop? Here, stop fighting. I need you to stop fighting. Can you stop? Like, look at you. I Do you know. see yourself fighting? There's so much going on in that clip for us off. One guy is trying to fight the other guy, and there's no need to even fight. The girl is clearly choosing one guy over the other. And I guess the other guy is just standing there looking like an idiot, waiting to get punched in the face for no reason. The girl doesn't even like you anymore. She clearly cares about her actual boyfriend over you, and you're just still trying to fight for her back? Then again, the other dude, why are you even still there trying to pick up a fight? You don't even need to, bro. Just walk away. What are you doing? I can see that lady's back right now. People in the comments are saying, no, this isn't cheating. It's just like an innocent joke. However, if a man was staring at a girl like this with like binoculars, 100% we're kind of uh, cheating. So no, shame on her. This is cheating. At the end of the night, we were exchanging I love yous. And um, three days later, there's an engagement he proposed. Can y'all believe that? And I, I went and so of course it all happened really fast. So I know everybody's looking for the ring. There's no ring. You got a tattoo. <laughs> but it's coming. She did get a tattoo. But I did get a tattoo um across here and it okay. says his name, Mrs. Bleep 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 bleep. Read it if you can. <laughs> I'll tell y'all. I'll tell y'all later. But yeah, um, so there will be a wedding. I don't want to give too much of the details, but it's happening. And I honestly just feel like I'm in a dream, like it's like a fairy tale. Congratulations. You She's trying to tell the story like the man wasn't a complete simp. He literally started saying, I love you after the first day, which is completely fake. I don't think you can fall in love within 24 hours, in my opinion. You guys can leave your opinions down below about that. But to even say that you guys got married three days later, she's clearly obsessed with him over his money. And he's clearly just obsessed with her over look. And there's definitely nothing else going on over here. This is just surface level love. And I can't expect him staying long very much. These are days that I hate being a model <laughs> because I'm never good enough. <laughs> And I've been modeling since 2014. And I started out as a size 0 2, doing editorial and runway. And now I'm a size 4 6. And I'm shit on every day because I'm not a skeleton and I'm not unhealthy anymore. I just had a casting. And my feelings were hurt by the producer and the casting director. Living in this city will make you feel like shit about yourself and it'll make you feel like you're not enough and it'll make you feel like you have to live some unhealthy lifestyle to make it. Now I absolutely do feel bad for her but that's honestly the way the industry is. They don't care about your feelings. You either fit the picture or don't and if you don't they're just gonna rip you a whole new one saying yo you're just not good enough. But that's it for you guys. We'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.